Hey guys, what's up, it's King Crystal here, and today I bring you what I would build if I had $500 and wanted a full 4 cores. This build includes a Ryzen 3 processor, and would play most, if not all games, 1080p 60fps. I chose a white and black color scheme as well. Now before we get into the video, I remind everyone that if they have any questions or concerns, go join my Discord server, the link is down below. Also, if you are feeling generous and like to pledge a donation, my Patreon is also down below. Any money will go to me actually making an awesome editing PC. Now without further ado, let's get into the build. For the processor, I chose the Ryzen 3 1200. This is a 4 core 4 thread processor, performing similarly to an Intel Core i5. The big difference is that this processor costs the same as a Core i3, at just $110. It comes with pretty decent stock cooler, the Wraith Stealth, and was actually released yesterday, July 27th, 2017. The motherboard in this build is the ASRock AB350M. This is a good micro ATX motherboard that supports overclocking. This motherboard also has two DIMM slots. It is good enough I.O., and for the price of just $65, this motherboard will get the job done. I chose 8GB of Crucial Ballistics RAM for this build. This runs at 2400MHz and costs $60 at the time. It has a cast latency of 16 and populates just one of the two DIMM slots on our motherboard. It also has a white heat spreader to match the color scheme of this build. Having a heat spreader means that we will see no overheating issues within the future. This is also fairly low profile RAM, so adding a large heat sink will not be a problem later on. For storage, I chose a Western Digital Caviar Blue 1TB hard drive. This is a very reliable drive from a good company, and most likely will not let you down. It runs at 7200 RPM, as well as having 64MB of cache, meaning it's no slouch for a hard drive. It currently costs $50. Although no SSD was added to this build, for $55 more, I suggest also purchasing a 120GB SSD or so for your boot drive, although it is not needed. To play games, I chose MSI's GTX 1050Ti Aero for our graphics card. This 1050Ti has a 1.34GHz base clock and a 1.46GHz boost clock. It also has 4GB of video RAM, so at 1080p, you should have no issues. This graphics card currently costs $145. Finally, its TDP is just 75 watts and doesn't require a 6 or 8 pin power connector. To store everything, I chose the white BitPhoenix Nova, windowed edition. This case supports up to ATX form factor, so our micro ATX board will fit without a problem. For front IO, it has two USB ports, audio jacks, and a power button. For the price of just $27, this is a great deal. Finally, for just $35 right now, you can purchase a Corsair CXM 450 watt power supply. It provides 450 watts, which is plenty enough for this build, and has an 80 plus brought certification. It is also semi-modular, and includes all black cables, so aesthetics are not out the window. Overall, I wouldn't expect this power supply to damage any of our other components. So that was the build guys. This would cost around $500, and features the Ryzen 3 1200. Before I end the video, I remind everyone to join my Discord server, the link is down below. Thank you for watching until the end. If you enjoyed the video, remember to comment, like, and consider subscribing. This is King Christo signing off. Peace out.